Okay, we have to come in here, where all these trailers are, to turn around and get lined out, lined up to get loaded with pallets. Okay. That's kind of cool. But this is not what we're picking up. This is not where we're getting loaded. This is just where the guy on the forklift told us to come to turn around. And this is a little bit tight to turn a 53 foot trailer around. Right, David? A little bit. Yeah, my window. Yeah, that's all the room we have right here. We gotta get close to these trailers over here. Widest spot right here. Show your lower mirror, moving your arm. We're getting close to these trailers over here to make our U turn here. And I'm almost 90 degrees to the trailer. Yeah. Almost jackknifed to be able to make that turn. go back out that gate right there and get lined up by those pallets over there. This place looks more like it's set up for flatbeds to get loaded with pallets, not dry van boxes, which is what we haul. I have not seen a portable dock plate or ramp yet, so I'm not sure how they're going to do this. Yeah, he's going to push them all the way up to the nose of the trailer. At 800 feet, turn right onto Florida 20 East Southeast Hawthorne Road. And this guy is directing us on where he wants us. Uh, and he makes sure he can get the doors open. How far up do you want us? Come on up. Let's go up that truck. Okay. Come over this way a little bit. Come over this way a little bit. Go over that way. She wants us right up with that truck and a little bit closer to him. Okay. Yeah, right there. That guy had us park here the way we're parked so that another truck could get by. And I seriously doubt another truck could get by without hitting us. One thing, there's that car right there. I don't think there's enough room between the car and us. Not to mention our West Coast mirror over there. And then there's a couple more vehicles parked right there. There's the grass they'll have to drive through. We couldn't get much more this way. For one, because that pickup that has at least two flat tires. So this is where the loader had us park. We're too close to this pile of pallets that we can't open the door all the way, which is making it for a dangerous situation we're not happy with. And he wouldn't let David back up to lock the door in place beside the trailer and then pull forward again where he wanted us. So David has to stand here and hold the door, make sure the door doesn't swing around and get damaged. This is ridiculous. And you know, it's, a few feet that he would have to back up to lock the plate the door in place and this place is a junkyard i don't want to come here again go over that way, go over that way or what yeah look there's a bunch of junk on the ground over there and there's cars everywhere they're basically broken down and needing work and flat tires and just this place is full of trash it's not safe. Look at all that crap. And I hope we don't pick up any t nails or anything driving around here.
So right now they're having a problem getting this last stack of pallets on the other side of the trailer away from me. All the way into the trailer so we can close that door. It's hitting the next stack inside the trailer. They can't get moved in far enough. And we've hauled 580 pallets in a trailer before. For some reason it's just not fitting. I think it's the direction that they put the pallets in and not putting the near row to me close enough to the wall to be able to uh, get, them, get both rows 13 deep. And now he's using another stack of pallets to push them in, but it won't push because it's hitting the next stack of pallets, but he doesn't get that. That's not enough into the trailer to get the doors to close, and he doesn't get it. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Share the video out with your friends. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought of this uh, mess here, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Uh, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe and smash that bell icon so you get notifications when we upload new content. There will be at least one new video every week. We do live streams, we do shorts content, and we do regular video content. We hope you enjoyed this video, this look into the day in the life as a truck driver, and we'll see you on the next one.